No, no, she's Kenyan. She's Kenyan. The minority whip, the Honorable Mili Odiambo Mabona. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, if you're talking today, unless you're speaking with an American accent, you're not going to be allowed to speak here. And Mr. Speaker, I wanna, just want to say that on behalf of the people of Subanoth and the Kenyans at large, I just want to congratulate Honorable Holder for this win. Mr. Speaker, she is a Kenyan immigrant who has gone to the United States of America. And Mr. Speaker, Unless you're able to speak the way I'm speaking today, you have no business going to the United States of America. Well, Mr. Speaker, on a more serious note, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, on a more serious note, I want to say that I'm very happy. Honorable <laughs> Mili Mapona, the standing order provisions are clear. Yes. You start in a language, you continue yes. in that language <laughs> to the end. So can you continue Mr. Speaker, I can actually finish in this language because as a graduate of New York University, yes. Mr. Speaker, and I can actually tell you that one talent that the Lord God has given me is that I pick accents wherever I go. So if I go into Kisi, I will speak Kisi accent. And if I go into the United States of America, I will speak American accent. And Mr. Speaker, I can tell you just before I came here, I was listening to Hulder, and I think that's what has actually influenced the way I'm speaking right now. But Mr. Speaker, now let me go back as a member of Suba North. <laughs> and as a member of Suba North, Mr. Speaker, I just want to say that Hulder is the first Kenyan born to be actually elected in the United States of America. And Mr. Speaker, we know that Obama was elected, and his father is from Kogelo, but actually Obama was not born in Kenya, even though that was an issue in America, they were trying to say that he was born in Kenya, but his father was born in Kenya. But Hulda is Kenyan born who has been elected. As a woman in Kenya, I am extremely proud, and especially for those of us who are rooting, especially for Honorable Kamala, even though I know you are a Trump guy, but we were rooting for Kamala Harris, and because she didn't win, at least this is something that gives us a little bit of consolation. And even though um, we know that America is still um, uh, a little behind in terms of democratization, in Kenya we are setting the pace, and we are telling America's followers soon, because even in terms of representation with, of women, we are ahead. America may have been ahead in democracy, but Africa is fast overtaking America, and we are going to tell them how things are done. And while they are still playing, we will have the first Kenyan to be born. Mr. Speaker, I know my time is up, but I just want to say that you saw that they also play Kanungo, because they realize that all Kenyans were behind us. She's a Kisi, and we celebrate that the Kisi produced somebody excellent. But do you know the Kisi Abagusi, Abasuba, Abamili? We are all there, Mr. Speaker, and we are happy. <laughs> Our minority whip is so learned and so, so widely gifted. Eh? Uh, the Honorable Silvanus Osoro, our majority whip. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I may not be lucky. My, my kids 